Hi everyone, this is Shannon. I'm reporting live for the Love March movement. You know, every Wednesday we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm just going to give you the three points and the three people as per usual. And you know, all are invited to fast and pray with us as we lift up our nation, Jamaica, you know, who this land that we really love. So feel free to join with us from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every single Wednesday. Alright, so we're going to be looking at three points. The first point is that we just want to remember to pray for Jamaica, this island, that Jamaica would continue to stand against the LGBT agenda. Um, for those who are joining us for the first time, LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, that we will stand against their agenda of, you know, changing the way we, we view things, you know, our worldview, changing what we teach in, in schools, changing the or how we feel, you know, our freedom of conscience, our freedom of religion, our freedom of speech, just everything you know, that Jamaica will continue to stand against that agenda. Believe it or not, there are several countries that are looking to Jamaica to lead the way, several Caribbean countries, you know, Egypt, Africa, these, these places are looking towards Jamaica to take a stand, and they will copy us. They believe that we have the power, we have an awesome burden to bear, but we can do it if you continue to pray and fast with us. So we're going to pray for Jamaica. That's the first point. Second point, we want to remember our children. You know, we always saying we believe the children are the future, and it's so true, and we want to remember the future of this land. Um, our children are being bombarded to a lot of adult pressures, things that are pushed by adults, you know, both in terms of like this whole abortion thing and um, the homosexual agenda, even condoms in school. These are things that children don't have a say in, but it will affect them and ultimately will affect the country in the long run. So these are, you know, that's the second point I want to remember, to so pray for our children, that they will be protected from these... Uh, policies from these agendas that are being pushed that affect them the third thing remember it's three points the third thing that we want to pray for um is that the people of jamaica will remember what uh it means to have sex in the right context remember that one of the main themes of love march is sex god's way or way you know that we will remember what it means to have sex in the right context which is marriage that the lord has instituted sex to be a special bond between husband and wife only right so we want to pray that the people of jamaica will be resensitized to this i mean can you imagine if everybody in jamaica were to just be responsible with their own body just think of the the ripple effect it would have on family structure on you know economic development on on just the the nation on a whole if everybody were to exercise their right to sex in the right context so those are the three points jamaica will continue to stand against the lgbt agenda for our children that they will be protected against adult pressures that are being thrust on them and um for the third thing which is that people will be able to have sex in the right context they'll remember what it is and exercise restraint and control to do that now it's three points three people so those are the three points for the three people of course we want to remember our beloved prime minister you know she holds a lot of power right now but remember that this power is only given to her under the authority of god so we want to continue to um pray for her uh, you know, even as she was at a, a convention just this weekend gone, so she would have heard the word, she would have heard, you know, all the things that we are doing as a movement and as people of God, you know, to take a stand against her repealing the Bogri law. So we want to pray that she will um, hear us, that the petition will have effect, you know, and that she will not, she had said that she was going to allow this whole thing to be decided by way of conscience vote in the parliament, but that leaves no accountability. I mean, it, there's so many things wrong with that. And so we are calling for a referendum instead so that we as a people, and exercise our right you know that we will be able to say what what we think about this matter so let's pray for her that she will listen to us and that we will succeed in that regard so that's the first person the second person of course is javed jagai you know we've been praying for javed for quite some time we don't want to stop don't get tired of praying for him and there's a reason why we're doing this we have to remember that while we see people we're interested in the soul the soul is what the lord is interested in and you know a lot of times when we see people doing things it's it's there's such there's some deeper issue and we don't know his history we don't know his background but we want him to know that christ loves him and that christ's love can change him so i want to come from a javed jagai um for those of us who are joining those of you who are joining us for the first time javed jagai um he's a gay rights activist and he recently uh well he initiated a, a court case at the hearing and uh he's suing the government for breaching his rights his constitutional right to privacy um with the bogre law um so we just want to remember him especially that he will be changed by the love of christ and that we will be loving towards him we'll continue to be loving towards him because yeah he needs love you know um and the third person we want to pray for is none other than lisa hannah 
Lisa Hanna is, you know, she has such a critical role as it relates to the influence of youth. As we said earlier, as one of the points that we're praying for is our children. We want to continue from Lisa Hanna. She has a direct influence over our children. You know, recently she, she came out saying, you know, she supports abortion. Uh, you may be wondering why we're, we're on this abortion topic a lot. The thing is, most times persons who want, well, maybe I can't say most times, but a lot of times persons who want to have abortions, it's as a result of unplanned pregnancy or unwanted pregnancy. And most times, unwanted or unplanned pregnancies happen when sex is not um, carried out in God's way. You know, I mean, be it teenage pregnancies or just sex outside of marriage or, you know, in even more severe cases as a result of rape. I mean, it, it, it's just as a result of sex not being done the way God intended for it to be done so this is very important to us you know we're pro-family pro-life because we believe that God values all life and and that's why sex is so sacred to him you know that's the source or you know the channel by which life is created and so we want to remember Lisa Hannah that she will exercise this wisdom that only God can give you know and, and she'll rethink her strategy rethink her position and just that God will, you know, impact her in a very special way. So those are the three people, um, our Prime Minister, Javed Jagai, and Lisa Hano. So very quickly, I'm just going to pray for these, these three points and these three people. Please continue to pray with us, um, you know, not just on a Wednesday when we're praying fast, but just being much prayer for this because it's very important to the development of our nation. All right, so let's pray. Our Lord and Heavenly Father, God, we want to continue to put Jamaica before you. God, we thank you so much for this, the blessing that you have invested in this little island. God, we want to remember the three points, God, that Jamaica will continue to take a stand and be a beacon, God, you know, among other nations, that we will be able to resist the pressures of the LGBT agenda, God, that we will take a stand for righteousness and for your standards. God, we want to remember our children, God, how precious are our children. And Lord, you know, you say even a child would lead them. God, we pray that our children would be protected from all these other adult influences god that are ungodly and that will damage them and damage the future of our nation as well god we want to pray special protection and healing and proper guidance for our children god even as it relates to sexual matters um you know and just education in that regard father um we want to pray for all the people of jamaica that we will be reminded of sex in its proper context god which is in marriage when two people are prepared to be married man and woman god they, they are prepared for this and they're in it for life god because that is how you intended uh marriage to be and how you intended sex to be i don't want to put everybody in this country before you that they will just remember the responsibility they have with their body god you said that our body is, is or is your temple and i pray that we will treat it as, as such god we pray for the three people we pray for our prime minister their god that she will be given true wisdom from above you know god that you will lead her and guide her accordingly lord according to your word because it's your word that prospers it's your plan that gives us hope and a future god i pray that you know we will be offered the referendum god to make the the, the decision as it relates to the book we love but we want to pray for javed jagai thank you so much god that he is such a brilliant person he's such a bold person god you know you have invested so much in this person and you know we thank you so much for his life Lord, i pray that you will speak to him in a very special way a personal way because only you know him deeply you know god i pray that you will just convict him and let him feel your love god lord we pray for his salvation even now lord we pray for lisa hannah that you will just continue to you know she's doing a good job lord just continue to give her wisdom as it relates to these matters god that she will be given you know a bigger perspective as it relates to revering our children god and just treasuring them and cherishing them but we thank you for these three points we thank you for these three people in jesus name we pray amen so remember guys continue to pray um you know continue to support love march movement as we just take this country back for god amen